It's hard to predict exactly how a warming climate will affect the natural world. But a group of scientists in New Hampshire are trying to do just that, by simulating it. Ariel Duem Ross reports. This is what a forest will look like in 100 years. It may not seem all that different, but the real story is going on under the surface. So we call this experiment CCASE. CCASE stands for Climate Change Across Seasons Experiment. And the idea is we are manipulating the climate across the entire year and looking at how the forest responds. Pam Templer is a professor at Boston University. Since 2012, she's been heating over 6,000 square feet of deciduous forest at the Hubbard Brook Experimental Forest in New Hampshire. What are we standing on? So right now, this forest is being warmed. As okay, and speak. what is doing the warming? So we have cables buried in the ground. You can actually see one right here. Um, but these are just buried in parallel lines across the entire plot. So everything that I see up until those markers over there is soil that is currently being heated That's underneath. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. With the help of her students, Pam has buried over two miles of heated cables just four inches below the surface. These connect to a control room nearby. So what these images are showing you is the thermal footprint of our cables. So you can see our plots are rectangular in shape and the cables are laid out underground. So this is supposed to give us an idea of what the soil there, the plants, everything, what it would be like 100 years from now. Exactly. Scientists think temperatures could rise by 9 degrees Fahrenheit in the next 100 years. But exactly how the environment might respond to that isn't clear. Ultimately, that's what we want to know in the really big picture sense is how is climate change going to affect the ability of this forest to take on and retain both nitrogen and carbon and other elements in the environment. The keyword says uh, CO2 dry. Yes. And so what Pam's team has found doesn't bode well. In these higher temperatures, trees don't filter as much of the carbon dioxide and nitrogen in the air as they would otherwise. Five inches. Yep. Five inches. Okay, I got it. Even more concerning is what's happening underground. What we've found is that a smaller winter snowpack leads to colder winter temperatures because the soils are now exposed. Okay. And so we found that the roots are very disrupted and damaged. The damaged roots don't absorb as much nitrogen from the soil, allowing it to spread into local waterways. Too much nitrogen can be toxic, and Pam fears that higher temperatures will lead to higher levels of nitrogen in our water sources. When we change the climate, we're not just changing temperature itself, but it has all these indirect effects on things that change in response to that warming. By simulating a warmer world, Pam hopes that her experiment will help bolster future climate modeling with hard data. It's not just science for science sake, but really for humanity. We need to understand how our trees and environment functions. If we want high quality drinking water, we want air that we could breathe, we need soils to sustain us. We really need to understand how we're changing the environment.